GoDaddy website builder tutorial step by step. Hello everyone, in this video we will be taking a look at how you can get started with building your own website using GoDaddy. So let's jump right in. Now GoDaddy is an online platform that is popular for domain name and purchase but you can actually host your own website using GoDaddy. Simply log on to your GoDaddy account and set up your free website. This also includes a free marketing trial that can help you in understanding the platform and understanding your site's performance so you can better improve your website. Now, after that, you're going to choose what are the basic features that your website is going to need. Whether you're looking to sell products or if you are just going to build a simple website. Click on continue over here and then choose the type of website you want to create. You can search for the type of website you're looking for because that just helps you in finding the right templates and for GoDaddy to suggest the best way to build your website. So let's say we are looking to build a portfolio as a personal trainer or let's say we have influencer or stylist like this. Yeah. And then I'll just click on continue over here. After that, you are going to name your website. So this is going to be Lily's. And then I will click on continue over here. Once we do that, we can tell a little bit about our business. This just helps them in setting up your website info using AI. Now, you can make easy edits to any of the descriptions that they provide and can be a great way to set everything up. So I'm a professional stylist who helps people in finding their personal style and colors. I have five years of experience and have styled many celebs like this. And then I will just click on continue over here. And just like that, GoDaddy's website builder will proceed with building our website. So let's wait a couple of seconds for the website building to be completed. And just like that, by default, it has generated a simple template for us. Now you will see that you have different plans that are suggested by GoDaddy. You can pick out one of these plans or you can even click on continue for free on the bottom right. Now you will see different sections that you can add. I will add a intro as well as a menu slash price list. And then I will click on continue to my site. Once I do that, I can proceed with the website editor. So you will see this is our basic template. And over here, we can see that our basic template is not as accurate to what we want to create. So over here, you will see we have the option for your next steps or page recommendations. Now, these are step-by-step -step ways that you can improve the website, or you can just go in section by section. So click on your first section over here and you will see the cover media on the right. Click on this cover media image and click on change image. Once you click on change image, you can go on ahead and add your own image because they have actually created this website on the basis of a hairstylist. It's not what I want. So I'm gonna be replacing the images and I'll just click on insert over here. Now to edit the actual text, we can click on the text and to make the color different for our images, we can turn on the black and white filters as well. We also have some other options which include zooming in on the particular image as well as choosing a focal point for the image like so. This is the focal point for our image and I will just set that up like so. Once done, we can also enable parallax scrolling which is going to appear on your published website. And this basically allows people to have the image scroll up. However, this enables the image focus to be disabled. So people are going to not be able to have a higher contrast between the image and the text. Now from here, we can click on this text section over here. So I will add my own tagline, which is going to be experience style at its best like this. And then over here, you also can get copy suggestions on GoDaddy, which means you can get suggestions on the type of content that you can write. Below that, we also have our second section. We have the paragraph section. If I want, I can remove that. If you want, you can really leave it as it is. Style with Lily like this. And I'll just remove this. And we also have a button over here. 
So click on this button over here and you can click on the button call to action and you can change that. So let's say I want this to be book a session like this. And then I want it to link to either another page, another website's URL, phone or email address. If you have something like a Calendly or any appointment booking tools like Acuity or any other tool, you can simply link to your website URL for that particular tool. Or if you're looking to build your appointment booking on GoDaddy, you can just click on page over here and select the page. Click on done over here and currently because we haven't built that page, we can proceed with our free website because that only has a limited number of pages. We can create our website booking page later on as well. Now moving on, we can go on ahead and move towards our second section, which is a section about info. To remove any section, click on settings on the top right and click on delete section. If you want, you can remove any content element from the pages that you have, as well as include new pages. To do that, you can click on add section over here and a pop-up will appear on the right. This allows you to add your own customized type of sections, including things such as your audio and video, blogs, newsletters, commerce features, contacts, files and webs, and other types of pages that you can create. Now. With that, you can also choose a hierarchy theme. So you can go into the theme section on the top right and you can click on try out a new look and you can customize the theme that is applied throughout your website. So let's say I want to use this one. I can simply click on select and this will be selected and you will see the structure of our website has been altered. You can also alter the color schemes by going into color over here. So you will see this is the color palette and you can go on ahead and choose your own customized color palettes as well. However, I would recommend that you do look into building color palettes with higher contrast for a better effect on your website. Now, after that, you have a font section, which has a wide array of font combinations already created for you. You can pick out one of these pre-existing font combos or even create your own. To do that, you can go into advanced and choose two different primary and secondary fonts of your own personal preference. But I do recommend using one of the pre-existing combos as they have been proven to work well. And below that, you have the option to customize your button. So you can add buttons for your primary actions and you can alter the style that you want to use by default. Once done, you can move into the settings section to alter your website behavior and then click on preview on the top right to preview your website. You can click on the mobile icon on the top to view the mobile version and then click on publish on the top right and you can publish your GoDaddy website for free. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to create your own website with GoDaddy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.